27th of November 1941. The skipper of U-552 had promised the crew a break from the frontline action, however his viewpoint was not shared by the BDU commander. Despite sinking two Royal Navy aircraft carriers and a light cruiser in the past two patrols, the BDU deemed it necessary that the crew of the Red Devils continue without a break to pursue our victory in the Atlantic. To this end, U-552 has been assigned to patrol sectors BE-3 to BE-6 in the hunt for the enemy merchant shipping. The number of vessels in this area is expected to be large, with a number of convoys set to pass through this area. As always, be alert for any new objectives and radio messages from the BDU. Good hunting. Okay, welcome back everyone. It's 30th November 1941, 9.23 in the morning. We've just received a mail. Um, a mail. Uh, how old school is that? We just received a radio message. Uh, we've sustained heavy damage from death charges and have many injured on board. We are lacking medical supplies. We need help. Meeting point 4696 North, 1307 West. We will stay here until the 3rd of December 1941 at 9.28. It's a call for aid from one of our fellow U-boat captains. Uh, we will, if we are close, indeed answer this hail and see if we can offer some medical supplies and anything else these uh, these boys need to patch up their U-boats and get back to base uh, so they can get full uh, medical treatment and uh, mechanical repair. So that'll be our priority for now. So confirm the message, reply to them. Let's tell him the one we're on the way. Okay, there she is, U one oh one four. Hello boys. Hopefully your salvation has just arrived. Brilliant stuff. Right. Full stop. Let's see if we can send a, a party over with some medical supplies and see if we can get them back up and running. So U1014, this U-boat called for help. According to the message, they needed medical supplies. We should probably take them with us before meeting the crew, assuming that we want to share. Of course we do. Send a team to investigate. Right, let's send... Um, oh, Felix is tired, so he's not going to go. We'll send one of our sound guys, because they've got medical treatment. Um, so we'll send Theo. No, he's an engineer, in fact. Hang on. Let's send... Uh, Detier. He's got a medical kit on him, which is good. We'll also send an engineer, Otto, just in case, Otto Bender, just in case they need any assistance. And I suppose uh, I was going to send Felix actually, but the captain go along. Herman von Danningberg. Uh, we'll send some crew over to get their essential repairs completed as well. But Dietia Schumann was welcomed by the skipper of this vessel, not the captain, Dietia. <laughs> After a short exchange of courtesy, the skipper got straight to the point asking if they brought the resources on the radio message. We'll give him the medical supplies. Brilliant. Mission complete. Help request sorted. The skipper thanked us for the help and promised to nicely mention this in the report to HQ. We got a reputation boost of 65%. I'm very glad to help. Godspeed, U-1014. Happy sailing and happy hunting. She's underway. Brilliant. Right. Let's just not hang here. We are presenting two beautiful targets should an enemy just the patrol just happen upon this uh, location. Could be very nasty indeed. So we'll, uh, we'll get moving as well. We're in our patrol zone so this all counts for our patrol mileage as it were so that's not the problem uh, we'll continue on our patrol and uh, bring you back if we uh, spot any of the uh, the convoys which are supposed to be in this area okay right a little while later um 
We've spotted a lot of smoke on the horizon. Look at that. One ship there, we've got another ship mast just over the thing. That could, that could actually be a warship over there. Um, Corvette sitting there. Look at all these ships. Empire Towers and Empire Bells. I'm not sure what that is. That could be a, a, C, a C3 or a Liberty as a tanker there. That's a Empire or something or other. And under the cover of darkness, we did indeed get ahead of them. You can see the convoy over there. We'll dive down now and try and set an ambush. Okay, going to chance the periscope for a little bit. Right, the lead ships are coming towards us. So thinking that's probably a escort. Can't quite make out from here. But here's the main convoy. Go from the outer edge. Yeah, it could be a escort vessel there. Don't know that. Too far away. We've got um, ships I'll coming for us. Like. Looks like we're going to be right in the middle of it, which is perfect. We can um, use the rearward tube as well. If we're in one of the the gaps in the, the lines of ships. That's look an interesting looking ship. What is that? No capital ships. We, we weren't going to get three in a row, would we? That would be incredible. Um, but we do definitely have quite a few merchant ships here. So, destroyer over there. And that's the outer edge. Right, okay. So we're going to have to wait for the destroyers to sort of go past us. Hopefully they don't detect us. We'll just sit quietly, periscope down, watch the hydrophone. And then we can pop up and uh, hopefully... I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a tanker. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's ah right. Okay, tanker and a destroyer. That's two different ships. I I was thinking, what makeup of ship is that? That looks strangely bizarre. But okay, there's two different ships. So that 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 makes more sense. To be honest with you. Okay, now now the funnel smoke is starting to um, divulge as well. So yeah, it was just one funnel smoke at the time. So uh, okay, time has passed. The destroyer has crept past us. And in front of us, we've got ships, right. That straight away looks like... No, it doesn't have enough mass for a C3. Um, uh, Liberty, there we go, right. Um, don't have a blooming, um, I've lost my stopwatch, so I can't do a speed check, because obviously the uh, TDC mod, which we used to have, is no longer available to us. So I'm just going to have to do it on the bare bones. It's going to be around about 7 knots, because they all seem to be around about 7 knots. We've got a couple of ships in front of us. We want to get a couple of forward shots away. Seven knots, yeah. Uh, I think it may be the case that we are a little bit too close to the ship behind to be able to uh, get a good hit. Right, here's, about, here's 102, which should be in the red. Set. Um... I think a couple of torpedoes for a Liberty ship. Dispersion 40 meters, that's fine. Tubes 1 2, go. Good, right. Disconnect from that one, and all of a sudden you'll see right in front of us is an Empire. The Empire Bruce. It. There we go. I recognize that. Seven knots again. Distance a lot closer. Okay, just for visual aid, I've, I've made a line which is 1.5 kilometers away. Once the torpedoes get to that, we should be able to be in a position to fire 
and they should be um, hitting about the same time. Without my stopwatch, I can't calculate the time-wise, which is slightly annoying, actually. I have to get that back. Right, so. Uh, tube 3. Four, three. Bewässern. We've got a ship behind us as well. Fire 3. Right, behind us. We've got a Swedish ship. I have asked that snorkel to be brought down twice now and they're still not doing it. It's so annoying. Um, this is a Emperor Explorer. Of course, about the same. It's going to be behind us. Distance. God, this is slow. Close is the answer. Five hundred meters. More food. The best one. Torpedo five flooding. The torpedo is on the way to the goal. Fire. Los. Forty seconds. And as you can see, oh, finally they're putting the snorkel down. It's a bit late. Uh, two good hits, impacting roughly the same time, uh, and they both look to be. Ooh, I think the uh, Liberty may have sunk. Uh, this one is bravely battling on, although she looks like she's definitely um, the bow is lifting slightly. Yeah. Now we can't hang about because. There'll be all sorts of uh, ships. Unfortunately, we missed <laughs> the Gunborg. We we missed the shot on that. I think she was too close. The the torpedo went out and didn't have time to turn. So there's a torpedo loosing over that way. Maybe maybe we'll get lucky and it'll hit a destroyer, but it's not really in the course of that torpedo. Um, the that's really confused the uh, the escorts. They're really not quite sure where everything is. Is that a tanker? That's a freighter. Just looked weird, like one of those little um, war-class tankers, you know. But I did see a tanker over here, so let's see if we can. Um, is that the one? No, it's not that one. It's not a Dale class. It's not an Oi class. It's a T2. Let's recognise that. Uh, we'll do the velocity because. Oh, well, that might be a tanker in the background. That might be one of the ones I was talking about. One of those little weird-looking ones. Do a speed check on this. We've got one more torpedo in the forward tubes. Um, and I suspect after those two torpedo strikes on those ships that um, the, the convoy is altering its speed slightly and maybe zigzagging a little bit as well. Although that's not evident at the moment. Uh, it wouldn't harm us to just do a quick check, get this torpedo away, then we'll dive away. Get the torpedo tubes reloaded and if required. Um, Try and get back ahead of them because there's quite a few juicy ships here. There's quite a few escorts as well, but hopefully we've uh, we've done okay so far. Seven knots. They haven't changed their course that much at all. We're going to keep the course about the same distance. It's about two kilometers. Torpedo tube. Four. Four. Bebessern. Fire. Los. Right. Torpedoes reload. Let's make the depth uh, 100 meters. 100 meter.
Welcome back everyone. Right. Um, fortunately, no depth charging as yet. Uh, all is well. I'm sitting just off the seabed as I said. Hiding in the shadow of the... Hopefully the shadow of that castle there, hydrophone. There's the odd sonar ping. Doesn't seem to be directed at us. I.e. they're not using it to um, narrow exactly the angle and our depth to uh, close in on us. It's just basically throwing it out there to see if anything returns. And I think the seabed is shadowing us, which is quite nice. So we're going to sit here quietly and let them all sail on by. Depending on how diligent they are or how annoyed they are that we just sunk two ships. Three ships, I beg your pardon. Well, two and a bit. We're not sure about the um, the one we... the Empire ship. Well, we, we, we think she might be sinking, but we're not sure. Definitely got the tanker. Definitely got the Liberty. I'm not sure about the Empire ship. Um, so we'll just see. We'll just see if they're going to hang around for a long time. Obviously, the longer they keep us underwater and um, away from the convoy, the more time the convoy has to get back to Britain and away from us, which is ultimately their goal. The time has passed and we've been able to come up to the surface to uh, see what's going on. Uh, the convoy's moved on with the escort. One destroyer hang around I'll for quite a bit of time, but he's now departing. He should be... There we go, we're getting invisibility now. There's the ship we torpedo. It hasn't sunk yet, but by the looks of it, it's been abandoned. So that looks like a deck gun jobby to finish it off. There's that. Is that? No, that's not the destroyer. There, well, there was a destroyer, trust me. There's, there he is. Um, he's just departed the area. So we're going to have to let them depart a little bit further away so we're well out of visual range, and then we'll pop up and finish that ship off uh, and then either try and get ahead of them or see if there are any other contacts in the area to uh, go hunting there's um there's a lot of escorts there we got lucky that time um, I didn't realize quite how many destroyers and corvettes there were but um, yes we're gonna let them go away and we will finish the Empire Bruce off Okay, having serviced the boat, let's see if we can finish this one off. A bit choppy, as you can tell. Oh, hell. Inbound! Okay, let's get another shot away. We weren't far enough away. Let's get moving! It's turning as well. Oh crap, that destroyer hadn't quite... Oh, this looks dangerous. Right, that one's sinking. Stow the deck gun. Oh my god, those shells come in. We're firing out the destroyer. This is not how I saw this engagement going. Right, dive, dive, dive before all hell breaks loose. It already is breaking loose. Oh, Right, just coming past 70 metres now. Right, turns out we didn't leave it long enough. Uh, got a little bit impatient. And, um, yeah, now we've got a destroyer coming back for us. So we're going to have to go all the way down. We're diving down 
Uh, we'll go down to about 140, 80. 150 meters again, wherever the seabed is, and we're going to hide once again. This time, uh, the convoy may be slightly out of our, our reach following this engagement. Um, <laughs> I can't believe we got up too soon. How he's, well, I, I suppose he saw the fire from the um, shells hitting the ship. Uh, it means we can't offer assistance to the crew who had um, evacuated the boat onto dinghy. Um, that's up for the destroyer to rescue them. We can't do anything now. Uh, let's continue down uh, to 140 meters, please. 150 meter. And uh, we'll see. Wonder. That should take us down to the uh, the seabed, and hopefully we'll be away from this uh, destroyer. Okay, our meats are swinging. You can hear the um, the grinding noise. Um, we were going to dive down a bit lower, but we've obviously come up to a bit of a high peak underwater. Uh, so we're under 95 meters, 100 meters, and this is where we hit the sea bottom. Um, only a little bit further on it was 140 meters so we're definitely on like an underwater hill or mountain um, which is a little bit worrying but we are we are on the seabed we'll just have to see uh, if they can spot us A few hours later, as dawn was breaking, U-552 once again was able to surface the boat and get some fresh air into their lungs. The destroyers and corvettes ultimately giving up the chase and heading back to escort the convoy the final few miles into the ports of Liverpool or the west coast. U-552 will remain out here on the hunt to see if any other merchant shipping comes our way. And on the 8th of December 1941, an important message is received from the BDU. War declared between Japan and the USA. Since 7th of December evening, there is a state of war between Japan and the USA. The crew of U-552 wonders what may have occurred. But this of course means that the US will be sending their own warships to the area. Right, hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we've had a bit of a, a troublesome time trying to spot any enemy ships. Uh, we've been harassed by some patrolling ships and by some patrolling aircraft as well. But look at that. Our prize for our persist persistence is a lone tanker out here heading towards the western ports of the uh, United Kingdom. So, uh, it looks to me like a T2. It is a T2. Right, we're going to um, periscope down. We're going to try and get ourselves into a better place for an ambush. And we'll pop up and try and finish her off. Right, a bit of time has passed. You may not necessarily appreciate it, but it has. Let's get this... Um, speed check probably going to be seven knots let's, let's be honest it usually is seven knots isn't it we'll see if we can get another tanker to our credit that would be certainly 11 knots well that's going a lot quicker than I was expecting well, I suppose she is on her own, so, you know, you would gun it, wouldn't you? 2.8 meters, 2.8 kilometers, I beg your pardon. Of course. I think it's going to be up here somewhere. As you can see, she's actually, by the time it's taken us to warm up those torpedoes, she's actually turned away from us. She's sailing away. Um, the range was 2.8. Maybe we should have fired some coal torpedoes. It's now 3.3. Maybe. Roar 1, 
what we'll do, we'll fire these two torpedoes anyway, and what we'll do, we'll give chase, and if need be, surface and um, strike her with the deck gun. I don't really want to do that, knowing how many, or how close we are to the British coastline and British waters where it's patrolled quite heavily. Uh, it's getting a bit dark, so maybe aircraft won't be coming out, but let's get two torpedoes away. Wow. Wow. We we got her. We snagged her with both torpedoes. And what a couple of hits they were. The thing about it, if you get an oil tanker hit right, then that's it. They end up uh, exploding and just the combustion of all the flammable liquid on board just blows the uh, the keel off their own ship and they sink so quick. That's a T2, T T2 tanker. Gone that quick. Right, let's leave the area before um, somebody will definitely report on that. Okay, um, just got a contact from another U boat. Say there was some um, uh, ships in the area, which indeed there are. However, We've just been attacked by some aircraft, so we're diving down a little bit deeper as they're dropping depth charges. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Right, the aircraft seem to have moved on. They've dropped their payload a few moments ago, and look, there is a ship behind us. Um, what is it? It looks like it's a Empire Tower. We'll do a speed, we'll do the distance. Um, we do have another U-boat, well a couple of U-boats in the area, obviously there's that convoy coming this way, um, but we've got this one on its own, so we might as well have a pop at here, let's do a quick speed check. I'm a little bit worried that the other U-boats will try and jump in and steal these kills, but uh, I guess it all goes to the, uh, the greater good, as they used to say. It would be nice to get this on our logbook rather than theirs. Again, a lone ship. Usually we'd say they're doing seven knots in a convoy, but a lone ship might be doing a little bit more. I certainly would be if I was on my Todd. No, seven, seven uh, knots. Okay. Uh, she's behind us, so we're going to use tube five. I think it's the first time we've used both torpedoes and tube five for a long time. Uh, we'll let her come a little bit closer because she's not at the best of angles. All right, a bit of time has passed. Let's just re establish the range. Two kilometers, right. Tube five, fire. Lord! The droning moored. Thankfully, the other U boat has not I'll surfaced. She's down low. I think she may have been the one that the aircraft were going for. So hopefully she's not damaged. She's moving around so I'm sus suspecting they're fine. We're going to bring the periscope down a little bit. Uh, 
Okay, she's been hit, but she's not uh, crippled. She's uh, limping on, so we're going to try and surface the uh, the boat and use the deck gun. I'm just going to do a quick scan, make sure. Oh, hello. Did I just see something? Thought I saw an aircraft zipping along low over the water there, and I was almost had a heart attack. But no, it seems to be okay. Auf die Rotiefe. The coast does indeed appear to be clear. I said that, I thought that last time when we uh, attacked that ship and the destroyer wasn't out of uh, visual range, but um, I'm pretty confident this time that uh, we should be okay to surface the boat, man the deck gun, finish off this ship, and then uh, dive away again. Okay, here we are. Armor piercing loaded. Let's get some shots into the front of this ship and um, see if we can't get a taking on a bit more water. I don't think I'll take much. She's badly damaged. Oh, that's beautiful. Right on the waterline. It's a little bit choppy to be using the deck gun, but it's okay. I think that would have just gone into the bridge somewhere. Not the best of shots. She's sinking. Perfect. Or are we sinking? This, <laughs> these waves are getting very choppy all of a sudden. Nope, she's going. Fantastic. Right, another ship we can add to the uh, the logbook. Fantastic. What we need now is a quick check on the stores and see how many torpedoes we have left. And stow the deck gun. Prepare to move. With the deck gun stowed, U-552 moves back into the hunt. There's two more U-boats in this vicinity with us, and there is a convoy on the way. We have six forward torpedoes left, none in the rear. What we are going to do is continue to stay out here on patrol, see if we can link up with these other two U-boats and, and take on that convoy. And we'll be doing that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.